Hi, my name's Nancy. I'm going to show you what PS Score does. I just bought it and I tried it out and I learned some of the features and so I'm going to try to show you very briefly uh, what it does so you have some idea if, uh, if you might want it or not and at the end I'll give you some of my thoughts. So here we go. So when you open PS Score, the first time you're going to get um, a welcome splash screen and some instructions which I'll show you in a minute but here's the shelf now I want to show you a couple of things the first thing is that uh, I have these filed by title so we've got a tab at the beginning I have something under six I downloaded from the IMSLP six piano sonatas by uh, uh, Clementi opus one and then of course the letter the, the letter of the uh, um, the composition. So for a lease under F, uh, the H is how to import PDF to PS Score, and N for Nocturne. Uh, recent, well, I've had everything open recently, so uh, it lists them all. Now here's a little pet peeve of mine. Artist. This drives me nuts with uh, iTunes also. Beethoven is not the artist. Last time I checked, he's been dead for quite a long time. But, uh, so I really wish they had put Composer there, as I bet you do too. So there are our shells. But now let's take a look at, we're going to open a score. So here we go with the uh, Chopin Nocturne and E-flat. Now I will just tell you right out that this gesture page turning I was not fond of. On this tab you set the resolution. Now I found found that high was too sensitive and middle was not sensitive enough. Now I will grant you that I didn't sit at the piano and play it. I've been, I've been sitting here on my couch trying it out but I have to tell you um, I was not crazy about that feature, but there are some other things that are very interesting. Turn previous, you want to be able to go back a page. And then down at the bottom of this menu, there is a, a, a little clip that you can see that demonstrates the, uh, the head turning. But I'm going to turn my head, and you'll see the arrow, and then in the, the upper right-hand corner, you see the uh, page. I think it, what did it say, two of... It couldn't have said seven. This is only a three-page nocturne. So I'm guessing I didn't see that correctly. Yeah, okay, there we go. Three of four. It didn't really say three of four. Two of four. Well, that's... Oh, I know what the fourth page is. The fourth page is just... There we go. Uh, copyright or something, I'm guessing. So I'm going to turn back. Turn back. Um, so that's that feature. Uh, let's take a look at the metronome. Now I'm going to I'm going to turn this uh, page gesture page. I don't like that feature personally. I would I don't think I'd use it. The metronome has a nice sound, um, which I'll demonstrate in a second. Um, it it reminds me of the sound of the old uh, uh, what was it Seth uh, Seth Thomas uh, those pyramid metronomes I like the sound better than the than the sort of the artificial click of some of the the, the metronomes we have now but uh, I wish the pendulum would have swung um, but so let me demonstrate this but let me show you the sound and then the visual and then both and then we can talk about that so I'm going to turn the metronome on I can adjust here I can adjust the metronome I like that. That's a pretty full sound. Now, here's when I press visual, I was hoping this is not what I was expecting. I was not expecting a pulse. Not for me. That would give me a headache. And then both, ah, forget it. You can do this. Two, three, one, two, three. So if you'd like that, God bless you. I don't use that. And I'm going to turn this back off. So there's the metronome feature. We'll close that out. Um, YouTube, this is very interesting. I don't know if this is a proprietary, meaning I don't know if I can, I presume that anybody on YouTube could find these vi videos. Maybe I have to look under PS Score, but here it is. 
the volume is very low. Don't know who the performer is or anything like that. On one of these, I, I, it was a video of a person. It was not the score, but in fact, it was a, the, a, a, you saw the performer. I like that. So, we all know this piece. So we're not going to, I'm going to close that out. Now it was not clear to me how to close that, but I, what I did is I touched the screen. Uh, mm, see, I don't know how to close this out. Um, okay, I did by touching the TV set at the little TV at the top of the screen. We did metronome, we did TV. Um, the question mark brings up, this was our opening uh, this is when you when you initially open the app some instructions so there we go uh, something else I'm gonna touch and I'm gonna hold my hand on the uh, I on the app and it's gonna change to writing mode now oops there it did I didn't even know it I was not paying attention so I'm gonna erase that but I have a nice little thing I suppose if I wanted I can adjust the width and the colors so I always forget this little quadruplet, my, me or my students, so we highlight that. That's fine. If I wish to, I can always uh, clear the writing on this page, delete this writing, yes. So I, I, we learned that passage. I don't need to highlight it anymore. That's kind of interesting. Um, disable sleep timer. I can't imagine why you would not want to use that. You don't want your iPad falling asleep while you're playing nor do you want your audience falling asleep while you're playing even if you're playing the E-flat Nocturne I don't know why I want to connect to my iPad my iPhone why anybody would want this on a little itsy bitsy screen is a mystery to me now we can have different backgrounds why once again that I got music in the basement that looks like that I really my feeling is and that's interesting. Oh, I suppose that's if you digitally download it. I was thinking, gee, it looks like a photocopy. <laughs> so um, it's an iPad. It's flat. Let's make it, let it look flat. Um, those are your settings. What have I? Oh, you know what else I have not looked at. We're gonna go to back to the home screen because Beethoven has a little tab here. It says MIDI. I have no idea what that means. I don't know if that means that. Oh, we got a little note here, quarter note. Oh, look at this. So we got a little MIDI. Okay. The volume is not very low. The volume is not very uh, loud, and of of course it's that uh, horrendous. Uh, MIDI piano. Uh, they could have done better with that, I think, with a little better. Maybe it's going through general MIDI. I don't follow MIDI much these days. I suppose this would work um, on simple things. I don't, I don't find a use for MIDI for a piece at this difficulty. I, I like MIDI maybe at early stages, but that's my thing. So there's a quick introduction. I'm trying to think if there's anything that I'd forgotten. But off. Oh, let's go over here. So let's do one other thing. This was curious to me. Free music sheet search. Now it keep they keep calling it music sheet. So um, I think that has to do with language. I because this appears to be um, appears to be. It's uh, um, I presume Chinese. Uh, and so their English was a little bit poor, I have to be honest. But this was really interesting. So I, so it takes me right to the IS, IMSLP, and uh, so I want, uh, I want a Bach fugue. Let's see this F U G U E. Let's see what happens if we search. There we go. So, uh, little preludes and fugue. Now this was fascinating to me. So there they are. Now what's a little confusing, I'm going to go down to the bottom and get the complete score. 
In fact, in the interest of time, I'm not. In the interest of time, I'm going to download one because it will happen quickly. Now this is, so there it is. Let's close this, done. And there, the artist of Bach, who, you know, I kind of thought he was long gone. And there's the preludium. I'm going to turn, oh, okay, well, that's the IMSLP. But I do have the score. I'm going to use the finger gestures to turn. Now, the one thing I found, however, oh, look at that. There's no copyright on this. There's no final page on that giving the, the uh, PS score copyright. One thing that was of interest to me is when I went to synchronize my um, computer on uh, iTunes, I expected to see a PDF on my iPad that I could then, then transfer to my computer, but I haven't been able to find that. Um, I'm going to see if we can do that just now, and that, uh, so that's our introduction to, I can never remember the name, Pia Score. Don't like the gesturing stuff. If, if I could download direct, f directly from IMSLP and then have it, um, have a PDF that, that, that I could then uh, transfer to my uh, desktop computer, I'd like that a lot. I have never used, I have used Dropbox in very limited amounts, so I can't tell you much about that, but I do most of my stuff not through, not through Dropbox. Um, so that's that. I'm going to take a quick look at iTunes, and this is my review. Um, thank you. So I've hooked up my iPad to my computer. Now here was the one thing that, that surprised me. Here in, um, in iTunes, I've selected my iPad over here and then Apps. Now I'm going to scroll down to File Sharing. I thought that perhaps now I could come down here to Piascore and I would find a PDF of the score that I just downloaded. What was that? A Bach fugue, and I didn't. So um, that was a little disappointing to me. That was that was disappointing. Uh, a lot of times I'm working on my iPad and I will download something to PDF onto my iPad and then I transfer it to my main computer, my laptop. So I was disappointed in that. So that's my review of PS Score. I hope it was helpful. Thanks. So there you go. This is my review of Pia Score. I don't know if it's a review, but it gives you some idea of how it works. And you can see it in action. See if you like it. And that's it. Bye.